Controlling and Managing User Access – Data Control Language In this lesson, we are going to learn about user privileges and roles. Before we get into this lesson, I want my readers to know the meaning of privilege in database. Privilege is the rights granted to specific users on specific database. Take a look at this picture for a clearer understanding. This picture gives you an idea of data control language. Using DCL, we can restrict the user's access in a table. A privilege list identifies the exact privileges that are applicable for a particular object and that are held by the user invoking the grant. Privileges are granted or revoked on the database object using the grant and revoke statements. Before granting and revoking permissions, we must know the users of the database. Here we will see the different users of the database. Every database contains a set of users. They are separate from the operation system's users. Users can hold database objects, tables, views, and so forth, and they can assign privileges to others so they can have access to an object. Now we are going to see data control language. Data control language is used to control access to data in the database. From this definition, we would understand the uses of data control language. Here we will see the data control commands. They are grant and revoke. These two commands are used to give and revoke permissions to the user to access the data in a database. Before we learn in detail about these two commands, we will see some of the privileges. Connect. This will allow a user to connect to the database or schema. Select. This will allow a user to select records from the table. Insert. This allows a user to insert records. Update. This will allow a user to update records in a table. Delete. This allows a user to delete records from the table. Usage. This allows a user to use database objects such as functions, etc. We can specify these things while giving permissions to the users. These DCL commands are auto-committed when they are executed. Here we will see in detail how to give object privileges to the user. In Oracle, Every table is considered an object. Now we will see in detail about the grant command. The grant command is used to give access permissions to the users. Let's see the syntax for the grant command. Grant object privilege to username. Here grant is a key word to specify the grant operation. In object privilege we can give any of these. Select, Insert, Update, Delete. Username specifies the name of the user for whom we are going to give permissions. Now let's see how to perform a grant operation. Generally, there are many users in a database. These users are created by the database administrator. We will see in detail about user creation in the database administration section. For now, consider we have a user named Wings. Now we are going to connect as user wings in a database. Let's see whether we are able to view the rows from the table details under the user Scott. For this we have to type select asterisk from Scott dot details and press enter. Here we have used the name of the user with the table name. It is mandatory to give the username followed by dot operator and the object name. As a result of this statement, it shows the table does not exist because this table is created under the user Scott and we did not give the permission to select the table to the user Wings. So we can't access this table as user Wings. To change this, we need to go to a grant command. Let's see how to give permission on the table details to the user Wings. First, we are going to connect as user Scott we need to log on to the database as user Scott and then type the statement grant select
have successfully granted the select permission to the user wings. Let's check this in the next section. Now we are going to connect to the database as user Scott and type a statement like this, select asterisk from Scott dot details and press enter. This statement displays all the rows from the table details. Similarly, we can give other object privileges to other users. Now we're going to discuss how to revoke the permission from the user. Look at this syntax. Revoke object privilege from username. In this syntax, revoke is a key word to specify we are going to revoke the permission from the user. Here we have to specify the object privileges and the name of the user from whom we are If we want to revoke the select privilege on the table detail, to connect as the user Scott into the database and type the statement like from wings and press enter. This statement displays the statement like this. Now we are going to check this revoke by connecting as user wings to the database and typing the statement like this.